Hey there guys, welcome to another video and I am so 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 sorry that I've been away for so long I think it's been what two and a half months maybe just a little bit more um, I'm extremely sorry that I've been gone away for so long but I have so many reasons as to why I've been gone um, as you can see I'm in Nepal right now can you tell if can you tell if that's Nepal by looking at the houses and buildings I'm not sure uh, but yeah I'm in Nepal and um, do you remember back in December uh, I've, I was hyping up this whole thing about this a big surprise big surprise big surprise and I'm pretty I, I'm sure most of you guys already know by now since uh, you guys uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and everything uh, but for those of you who don't know and who haven't followed me on Instagram why haven't you followed me yet <laughs> um, I have landed a movie contract, a movie deal. Is that is that right way to say it? I, I'm not sure. I will be playing in the lead role uh, in this upcoming Nepalese movie called Into Me Into London Ma, which just means Into Me Into in London. Um, I'll be playing as Into uh, Ishan um, in the movie, and it's a romantic movie so I really hope you guys don't mind it because I've already had so many comments uh, saying oh my god why is it a romantic movie I can't watch it but like I, you, you know those kind of comments and um, yeah I'm really really excited for it since it's my first time and um, you know some of you guys have been following me since my evil monks days like four years ago when I was I was making stupid random short movies and short uh, comedy skits and you know those vine type of videos on my channel on Evil Monks with two of my other friends uh, Sudip and Manoj and for those of you guys who have been following me since then I, I, I just can't believe that you guys have stuck with me for so long and uh, to you guys who have shown me so much support since the beginning of my that dude vlog channel um you guys have it's seriously the amount of love and support you guys have given me um, throughout this two years it's just been absolutely amazing and i seriously can't thank you guys enough for it and you guys have seen me f grow from a small amateur youtuber to to this guy who's now like in a, in a movie role and my name is getting um, printed on newspapers and all the online medias and everything and to be honest I, I, it still feels so surreal because I, I never imagined that I would end up playing in a movie at some point in my life obviously I wanted to and like I always thought yeah it would be nice but I never thought that I would actually get the chance and I'll actually be here in Nepal doing a movie um, so yeah, for the past two months, uh, I've been extremely busy rehearsing, practicing, uh, getting lessons, everything, everything. I've been so busy and that's why I haven't been uploading videos. I am so sorry guys. But yeah, it was only, what, one week and three days ago when the movie was announced. We had like a, a, a massive press release, you know, with uh, photographers, news people and everything. and. Uh, I'll, I'll put up some pictures here or probably some videos and it was so amazing I, as soon as I walked on on that stage and when there was like cameras in front of me I, I don't know why I should have felt uncomfortable but I felt like I don't know for some reason when I stepped out on the stage and I had all those flashing cameras like since it's my first time obviously I would have felt uncomfortable I would have felt nervous and yeah I was nervous to an extent but I don't know why it just felt so comfortable to me I just felt like I was somewhere where I belonged if that makes sense and seriously all of this is all thanks to you guys obviously I couldn't have done it without you guys for sure and I just want to from the bottom of my heart seriously guys I want to thank you guys so so much for sticking with me for so long and always showing me so much love and support and yeah thank you to all of the people who came at the event and um, we had this whole like fan meet and greet sort of thing because there were so many so many existing fans you know like K-pop fans who who had already known me from my YouTube channel they had 
come to the event. <laughs> Girls uh, uh, Republic? Yes, you did. 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 in the past two months that I've been away. BTS have won the Billboard's Billboard's Social Artist Award. That is absolutely amazing. Can you believe it? B BTS won by a huge margin. A huge margin. And it's absolutely unbelievable. They beat Justin Bieber, Shawn Mendes, Ariana Grande, and who was it? Someone else. Nicki Minaj? Katy Perry? I don't know. Someone else. I, I don't even care. BTS won by 300 million views. Views? Votes. Can you believe that? 300 million votes, they broke the record. And it's absolutely crazy because Justin Bieber was the second, uh, second artist, right? Who came second in the votes. And he only had, what, 22, 23 million votes? And BTS had 300 million. And you're telling me, before, when BTS's name was there in the nominations, so many people were like, BTS who? Who the hell are they? What the hell? Why are they nominated? Who are they? Blah, 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 and all of this. And all of us armies and the K-pop fans and all the Asians all over the world, I'm pretty sure all the Asians voted. And obviously you guys from the Western world as well, I'm pretty sure who are already armies and K-pop fans, you guys voted as well. Um, we, we showed that BTS are... Aaron, you know, they're, they're just the powerhouse to be reckoned with and I'm so glad they're finally getting the international recognition and um, Yeah, Jin, Jin, Jin seriously blew up after the awards because he was Everyone on Twitter was like who's that third guy from the left or second guy from the left because he had that picture like this on the group photo and I think today the one interview was released where this American interviewer was asking Jin, oh, you're blowing up on Twitter, everyone's saying you're handsome. And then Jin just replies saying, yeah, I am worldwide handsome face or something like that. It was so funny. And can you believe the outfits that they were wearing? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Back in 2012, 13, they didn't even have any money to go out and eat at a local restaurant. And now, three years on, three, four years on, they're wearing more than $2,000 worth of outfit. More than 2000 on them. Can you believe it? More, it is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. My man V was rocking the Gucci watch and the rings. Gucci man. Um, oh, it was just amazing. They were all, they were the best dressed. Vogue named them the best dress at the award show. And I am so happy for them. I am so, so, so happy for them. And, um, 
Yeah, K-pop world. I've missed so much, guys. There's been so many comebacks. Twice I've come back with Signal, GOT7, uh, Icon, uh, who else? Uh, Loco came back. Oh, so many people. I've missed so much, and I'm so sorry, guys. But I have finally, finally made a video for you guys. Uh, thank you so, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking with me for so long. And, yeah, um, thank you guys so much. I seriously don't know what to say. I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. I'll be back again with another video. Hopefully, I'll be vlogging behind the scenes and everything like that. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And please take care of yourself. And, yeah, <laughs> thank you guys. Bye.